So today's readings, both of them talk about resurrection, and it's referring to our resurrection. And uh, through our baptism, we're assured of resurrection. Um, when we're baptized, we're united with Jesus. We're united to his suffering, death, and resurrection. So through the little bit of water flowing over us in baptism, we unite ourselves to his cross. And just as God raised Jesus from the dead, he will raise us from the dead because of our baptism. That's why baptism is so important. It gets us into uh, resurrection, you know, if as long as we keep our faith. Now that gospel reading, the Sadducees did not believe in resurrection. Um, there's an old joke, you know, that's why they were sad, you see. Uh, but they, had, they, they posed this sarcastically ridiculous situation to Jesus about these seven brothers who died successfully, successively uh, all married to this one woman. And, uh, and Jesus' response to him is brilliant. <laughs> he says, those that are worthy will attain the resurrection. And it gives the Sadducees a pause to think, a chance to think about that. And then using the scripture that they believed in. Now the Sadducees had lots of restrictions, but they focused on the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. Those were the authoritative books of the Bible for them. And uh, so Jesus uses what's authoritative, authoritative to them and refers to Moses. And Moses in the burning bush incident refers to God as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not in the past tense, but in the present tense, that they're alive, you know, and God is not the God of dead, but of the living, referring to those guys. And so that's sort of a, you know, nobody wants to ask Jesus any questions after that. And then our first reading from Revelation, it takes a little bit of unraveling, but it's also about resurrection. It talks about two lampstands, two people, who are also two olive trees um, that did incredible things for God, have incredible um, powers that were given to them from God, and then when their time was done, the beast destroyed them. Okay, so what does all that mean? Well, to me, it's St. Peter and St. Paul. Uh, this one, one uh, reference has that. Others say we're not really sure who it is, but to me, it's St. Peter and St. Paul. Both of them were lampstands. They were lights of Christ. People could see Christ in them because of the way they acted. They were both olive trees. They were both very fruitful in growing the church. You know, Paul is the apostle to the Gentiles and Peter to the Jews, growing the church. Incredible growth in the, in the first 25 years of the church because of them. And then when their time was over, the beast, and when in, in Revelation, or beast refers to Rome, okay? So the beast devours them. And so the Emperor Nero rounded up Peter and Paul to kill the leaders of Christianity. And uh, so he, they're, they're dead and they leave their corpses out so people can see and be discouraged of joining the Christian faith because this is what happens to the leaders of Christians but after three days, they rise. And so the point there of, of this reading from Revela Revelation is there is a resurrection, okay? And after three and a half days, they, they rise. Now, the biggest proof of the resurrection is Jesus himself, okay? So many accounts in scripture of Jesus' resurrection, prefigured as well as in uh, New Testament, Jesus' resurrection and all the witnesses eyewitnesses to his resurrection give us confidence that there is a resurrection. And to me, St. Paul sums up everything I just told you, because I'm wordy here, in one sentence. He says in, in his uh, book or his letter to the Colossians, he says, you were buried with him in baptism. In other words, we died with Christ in baptism. We joined Christ in baptism. You were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God. So that's our resurrection, who raised him from the dead. So because God raised Jesus from the dead and we we're baptized, we will also be raised from the dead. And so we too share in resurrection. 
Uh, it's, you know, an incredible gift from a loving father. It's uh, a mystery. It's something to, it's really good news, and it's something worth rejoicing about all day long. 